So for 23, um, we're taking R2 and then revolving it about the line OA. So R2 is the section in green, right? And then when we revolve it, um, we are going to end up, let me, we're going to end up with these disks where the smaller part of the disk is going to touch this curve here. That's um, the fourth root of X. And then the bigger part of the, the disk will touch this, this line here, which is actually this um, Y is equal to 1, right? That's the bigger, the upper boundary of it. And then the upper part of the disk will touch like this. So we're going to end up having multiple disks, right? Some of them are going to be um, smaller, so I could go, let's see. When, we, when we're getting here, it's actually going to go like this, and then the outer part will go like that. So as we can see, the width of these um, disks, they change. So how do we, how do we go about um, setting this integral up and then calculating? Well, the first thing is to realize that since we're rotating it about OA, um, we're summing up these disks across the x-axis, right? These disks are going to go like, like this. So if we're summing up these disks across the x-axis, we're integrating with respect to x, and then we're going um, from 0, which is the origin here, to 1. So our integral goes from 0 to 1. So now what we need to do is um, we need to come up with an expression for this disk. Uh, and as we can see, the smaller part of the disk touches this curve, y is equal to 4, um, fourth root of x, and then the upper part touches y is equal to 1. So when we're setting this up, um, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a bigger circle, and then from it, we're removing the smaller circle with a smaller radius, right? So when we remove it, we're going to end up with these disks that look like the disks that we want to integrate. Um, so this here is this ring here is a 1 minus a 2, where a 1 um, is the bigger circle, right, with radius r1, and then a 2 is the smaller circle with radius r2. So let's, let's calculate these. Um, now, a1, if we think about the radius, the radius will always go from oa all the way out to this part here. It will always touch this line, y is equal to 1, right? So what we can see here is that the outer radius will always be 1. Um, so from here, we can say that a1 is just pi times the radius of 1, so times 1 squared. And what about a2? Well, a2 is uh, a2's interesting because uh, a2 is the radius that goes from here all the way out to here, right? Um, so when we're revolving about OA, all we're saying is, hey, that radius is the size of the height of this function. Um, so a2 is just pi times um, the x to the 1 fourth, right? Fourth root squared. So when we do this, we're going to have um, a1 minus a2 is equal to pi. I'm going to put it outside, and I have 1 minus the fourth root um, squared. It will give us um, x to the 1 half. Right, that's our a1 minus a2. So now that we have this, um, we are ready to integrate these disks, right? Uh, because what all we're saying is, hey, uh, the, these these disks have area um, pi times 1 minus x to the 1 half. And, uh, and we're just summing these up from 0 to 1. So, and the reason that these disks are a function of x is because, as we can see, they're um, their width changes as we progress from the x-axis. So if we're in the beginning, um, this width is big, and then if we go close to x is equal to 1, it gets smaller and smaller, right? Um, so I'm going to put the pi outside, and this gives us 1 minus x squared. So let's integrate. This gives us pi. Um, that's x. Oops, I forgot my dx. Yeah. So when we integrate, the integral of 1 is just x, and then minus, let's see, x, um, that gives us, three halves when you integrate this times two thirds from zero to one. So when we plug in our boundaries, this will give us pi times, that's one minus, um, I'm plugging in one here, it's going to give us minus two thirds, right? And we don't need to plug in the lower boundary because everything's going to go to zero. Therefore, the volume is just one minus two thirds, so it's just pi over three. 
And that's what we get when we rotate um, R2 about OA.